Welcome to my channel. This video is especially for the beginners who want to level up their drawing skills. We all start messy, but with the right steps, you can improve fast. Let's get started and see the progress for yourself. Keep your canvas zoomed out. Draw composition boxes for the rough idea where your character is going to fit on the canvas. Next, I'm going to use very simple shapes to block out the posture of my character. Just draw what you feel right without overthinking it. No corrections, no erasing, no undoing. Just trust your instincts and let the shapes flow onto the page. Alright, here is the challenge. No undo challenge. There is no undoing what we do from now on. We'll be adding rough details to our drawing and I want you to trust your instincts completely. Use very simple shapes to block out the details. Don't worry about making mistakes. Just draw what you feel according to the reference and let your intuition guide your pencil. Remember, the goal is to keep it simple and gestural. So avoid complicated shapes and focus on capturing the essence of the pose. This is a no undo challenge for you. So commit to your lines and see where it takes you. By doing this, you will not only loosen up your drawing style, but also build confidence in your creative decisions. Now that I have added rough details, I can identify my mistakes more clearly. I notice that the eyes are too far apart and the mouth should be shifted more towards the right side. Similarly, the nose seems off and needs adjustment. Now identify your mistakes in overall drawing and this will make your next step much easier. When we refine our creation, it's essential that we add more details. This means looking at parts where we might have gone off track and correcting those areas. Recognizing our mistakes and fixing them brings up closer to our original vision. This process helps us to improve our work, whether it's digital art, animation, or design. Adding details makes our work clearer and more engaging. When we create something, it has various parts that connect with each other. Understanding the distance and relationship between these components is crucial. This understanding helps us establish a good balance and harmony. When parts work well together, the whole creation has a rhythm and cohesion that appeals to people. It's not just about looking good, it's also about the creation telling a story or evoking a certain feeling. Sometimes for complex things like hands, we can start with simple shapes. For example, start with a basic shape for a hand. Details can be added later. This approach is much easier, especially for the beginners. When you put your pen on a canvas and draw a line, think of it like it's not a line itself, it's a gesture. It's a movement captured on a canvas. The way you move your hand, the flow of the stroke. The slight wiggles or decisiveness in the mark, all these contribute to making your drawing feel alive. Lines and curves evoke emotions silently. Speaking through shapes and gestures, through this unspoken dialogue, a drawing gains a presence that's more than visual. It conveys a sense. Think about how you draw each line. Soft and wavy, sharp and bold, quick or loose. The way you make a line gives its feeling. If you draw a line slowly and gently, it might feel calm and delicate. If you draw it fast and strong, it feels energetic and powerful. Your lines come alive with the movement and intent behind them, capturing the mood you want to express. Okay, now we have added details by identifying our mistakes. 
This is the last part where I put in extra care to make everything look just right. I've got all the basics down and now I'm focusing on making it super polished. It's like the difference between something that is good and something that is absolutely gorgeous. These tiny tweaks can make all the difference. I'm going through every bit of it, adjusting things here and there to bring out the best. In this stage, I'm all about adding those little extra details that take the whole thing to next level. It's not about making huge changes anymore. It's the small thoughtful touches that start making it really stand out. I'm talking about adding more curves to lines, making some parts softer, highlighting certain shapes. And all of this is like adding spices to the dishes till it tastes just perfect. I'm making sure every part feels like it fits together nice and smooth. Here, every tiny adjustment counts for a lot. Making it look beautiful is not just about peeling on more stuff. It's about getting each bit to work together like a song. The way the lines flow, the curves, how all the shapes play with each other. It's like they're all dancing together in harmony. I'm putting in that extra bit of effort to make sure it all comes together in a way that's really pleasing to look at. It's like adding that final touch that makes people say, wow, that's lovely. At this point, it's like I'm putting the finishing touches on something I have cared about a lot. Every curve I tweak, every line I refine, it's all about capturing that feeling I want to convey. It's a bit like polishing a, it's a bit like polishing a gem you keep working on till it shines just like you envisioned. And when it's done, it's like the whole thing feels complete. It's got its own vibe, its own charm. That's what I'm aiming for in this final step. I am using a curvy pencil for all this drawing. And honestly, it's like the perfect tool for what I'm doing. The curvy pencil is best when it comes to adding curves to lines or creating flowy lines. It just glides like it meant to bring out the fluidity I want. Whether I'm looking to make soft lines, harsh lines, or add in line weight variation, the curvy pencil is the best. It lets me play with the stroke in a way that feels totally natural. I am using soft pen here for the dots. Again using curvy for adding a spring to the notebook. Add faster strokes of curvy pencil to create an illusion of notebook pages. Add slow speed strokes of curvy pencil to create magical line that seems to come out of the notebook. And finally, we have done the last part. Our drawing is completed with all the details and final touches. I want to create a high contrast for this. I would add dark color to those areas which I want them to stand out more. Okay, now using solid fill, draw ink dripping from the fox and also the ink particles suspended in air. Also draw the ink placed on a notebook. Draw more suspended ink particles in the air. Okay, now grab coarse charcoal brush and add texture to the fox. Use blender to adjust the amount of texture applied. Use eraser to erase the extra texture. Add slightly darker texture to the cheeks and nose of the girl. Now grab blender and blend the edges of texture. Add dark texture to the knees cause knees are normally darker than rest of the skin. Now use solid fill to add highlight to the eyes. And finally we are done.